Alright, another video. I was talking about the voltage regulator. In this one, I'm going to talk about different toroids and arc length. I have a lot of people ask me about the arc length. Does it have an arc or is it just live at bulb? And it all depends on different things. The voltage depends on the toroid. And I also think it uh, depends on how the secondary is wound. First, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to kill the light so I can show the arc length just to this bulb here. Right, first, this is my finger. In the other video, I talked about how it was at 0.1 watt. You can see the little arc. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There is a small arc there. This is at 1 volt, 1.2 volts. Right, there's. And there goes the thermostat turning on like I was talking about in the other video. It's only about 7 volts. This is a little higher. It's probably about 13, 16 volts. And right, now I'm going to put this on, which is just a metal disc I made <coughs> out of sheet metal. You can get some at the hardware store. Just drill the hole in the middle, put a bolt in, uh, right. this is 1.2 volts, so 0.1 watt. Big difference with the arc adding this toroid. Turn it all the way up. You can feel the heat on the bulb. Now, if I turn the bulb a little bit, it'll catch fire there. Pretty much like a beam, 500 kilohertz. Well, I guess adding the tour right now, it's about looks like 413 kilohertz. So that's something else too. I was talking about the toroid and the voltage is going to make a difference on the arc. So hopefully that answers some questions on that. And. I get a lot of questions about what to use for a toroid. I just send like the listings show the generic for the kids. And I tell people like a stainless strainer. Some people's told me that works good. Uh, stainless bowls, those work good. Um, like this just disc right here works pretty good. And well, let me just put a toroid on it and see the difference. Alright, got the toroid on there now, and it's on top of the metal disc, so, yeah, it seems, Everybody should be careful with these because they will start a fire. Just gotta be careful what you got them sitting next to. And like I said, I, I'd really recommend using the voltage regulator up to 24, 30, or 30 volts DC. Right now I'm using a 24 volt going into it. 
the regulator and my output voltage shows around 16 volts and also with the toroid on let's see we are at 316 kilohertz so it brought the frequency down even more <laughs> 